So it's me and the boys, Trevor and Tyler, We're going on a road trip down to Tucson. We're going down to the Arizona International Film Festival for the world premiere of Lust for Gold, A Race Against Time. So it's Saturday the 17th, we're going up the day before, and we're going to meet with Robert May, the producer, and uh, I think, I don't know who else will be there, but he will definitely be there. Bob Schuess will be down. Tentatively, Robert Kesselring and Rick Quinn are supposed to be down, so be a bunch of us, and we'll be meeting up for the world premiere. So on tomorrow morning from 10 to 4, there's a treasure hunt. Uh, so we're going to take part in that. We're not allowed to actually win prizes, but we're allowed to compete. So even though we don't get a prize, I still want to be first place because it's the competition, isn't it? And then we'll see. I think we can cheat. We'll sign up with a fake name. So anyways, so that's what we're going down for. Also, as a representative of the Superstition Mountain Historical Society in the Dons of Arizona, because I'm part of both organizations, and they're both sponsors of the uh, Lust for Gold Race Against Time for the, um, the premiere and everything, and the theatrical release and then June 18th there will be a DVD and Blu-ray so all this is starting to come to effect it's been a long period of waiting for all this so we're driving down south we're going to get down to good old Tucson and take part in the festivities down there so nothing can keep us away right Trevor? Right. So uh, that's what it is so we'll put the miles in and Tonight, Tyler wants to go out to the bar, so we're going to be setting them up, pounding them down. Tyler's drink of choice is tequila, so see what happens, what kind of condition, what shape we're in tomorrow. But uh, Tyler can pound the tequila. He's pretty good at that. Right, Ty? Did we bring Tyler? Yeah. Oh, he's doing thumbs up. Did you do thumbs up? I thought I saw a thumbs up. Yeah, he's all about pounding the tequila. That's Tyler. So. Yep. Keeps you young. He's actually 58 years old. He just looks like a boy. So there we go. So that's about what we're doing today. So uh, it's a long trip, though. It's a bit of a long trip. So we, the, the week started with going to get Trevor. Flagstaff and putting in two, three hundred miles and getting Flagstaff, Trevor to fly from Flagstaff and bringing them home. And then get them down and now today we're running them all, everybody in Tucson. And so we'll see what else we can kind of run around and kind of check out and do.
everybody welcome we're here in tucson arizona we have arrived for the arizona international film festival and tonight is the world premiere of lust for gold so just in the next hour hour and a half we're going to be back in here it's a sold out show for this evening so can't wait to see it join us i hopefully if some of you maybe monday online to watch us lust for gold race against time so part of what we did today is we interviewed robert may Oscar winning producer, who was also the producer of Lust for Gold Racing Against Time. It's got an interview for, from him that will be coming up on a Chasing Legends episode. And as well, there was a treasure hunt today with up to $1,000 in pro cash prizes. So we participated in that. We could not win. We weren't allowed to. But we still participated, wanted to quit ourselves well to show that we actually know the business of treasure hunting. So it was a great in-depth interview with Robert May. We thank him very much. Um, taking the time to answer a lot of questions to do with Lust for Gold and everything that we can think of. Our final outdoor night will be down at Hotel Congress, so please get your tickets ahead. Um, today was, uh, oh, and before I forget, um, TJ, one of our FITS coordinators, the FITS coordinators, we actually take filmmakers into the schools when it's not COVID time. This year we did it online, and he is the coordinator from that, and he moved to Hawaii, and he graciously agreed to fly back and leave paradise and join us in our desert paradise to help us out with this film festival. We couldn't do it without TJ, so thanks TJ. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to introduce um, the director, Robert, and he's going to tell you about quite the fun, super fun event today that we had here at the Mercado and areas around town. We had a treasure hunt, and he will tell you more about it, but let me just tell you, as someone who was here all day participating, it was super fun and it was just really just a great time everybody had a great time and um, he'll tell you more about it but thank you so much for coming out we really appreciate your support thanks <coughs> it's because uh i know that it was a little windy the other night and we were complaining about the wind when we were driving by and people thought we were babies uh because we we're coming from the north east but um it's really nice to be in warm weather, especially after all things considered. Yeah, this is, as uh, Mia said, it's really been a very difficult time for, for everyone, and certainly in the hospitality business, restaurant business, lots of businesses, and the film uh, business has been you no know, different. It's been very difficult. Um, so we're really glad to be here. We were supposed to be here last year, and we're glad to be here this year. First thing I want to do is just thank Julio and Mia and the entire Arizona International Film Festival team, uh, because we, uh, we've worked with them uh, on obviously bringing the film here, but also uh, working with them in uh, creating the treasure hunt that we did today. And um, i also like to thank um, some of the promotional partners that are going to be instrumental in a sweepstakes that will come out in June. You'll be able to register for the sweepstakes in June, which is a three-night, four-day expedition into Superstition Mountain. It will be guided. Uh, by REI co-op to provide guides, provide meals, we provide airfare, hotel before and after the expedition. And so you'll be, entered, you'll be able to enter that uh, in June when the film comes out. The film com comes out uh, on uh, streaming Blu-ray DVD June 18th, 
and a limited theatrical release before then. But this is the first time anyone has seen it publicly other than test screenings, so we're glad you're here. And the expedition wouldn't be possible without a number of key partners that we met during the filming of uh, Lust for Gold, Race Against Time. One of them, Goldfield Ghost Town, which is an amazing place. Uh, we filmed there, you'll see it in the film. Uh, and we've also interviewed Bob Schuess, you'll see him. He's here tonight representing Goldfield, uh, which is a really an amazing place. It's an absolute destination, and it's at the base of Superstition Mountain. Uh, in addition to that, at the base of Superstition Mountain is the Superstition Mountain Museum. David Rearing is here representing the Mountain Museum tonight, and uh, he's uh, it's great that they're partners um, with us, and uh, it's a great place to be. We filmed in there as well, um, and they have a gift shop. It's like a whole destination unto itself. You have Goldfield Go Ghost Town and Superstition Mountain Museum, and also the Don's Camp. Now, those of you who participated in the treasure hunt will have, uh, have read about the Don's Camp and Goldfield and Superstition Mountain Museum, but it's also a very interesting story that dates back a long time about the Dons of Arizona and the legends of treasure hunting in general. So those three folks are sponsors for the sweepstakes, which will take place um, and you can enter in June. Um, and also I want to mention too, that we've really had a friend who's in the film, who's here tonight, who has done an extraordinary thing for us by simply trying to get people to pay attention to a film like this. This film is unique, it's very different, and we're so glad that we have you here, but I want to acknowledge Wayne Tuttle, who, who really helped in so many ways. He's in this film, he's been on television shows as well, so you may recognize him as well. And um, I'd like to introduce now someone who really made the treasure hunt possible for us here. And when we were working on the project from the Northeast without setting a foot in Tucson, and we had to rely on somebody on the ground here to help us design the treasure hunt. We worked with an app company to do it, but we needed somebody here. And so for that reason, I'd like to introduce the proprietor of Petroglyphs, Jose, wherever you are. Come on up, Jose. Oh, there you go. Oh. Well, we're going to be talking together, so. Okay. So I have my own microphone. I can take this with me when I leave. All right, great. All right. Where is Jose? Oh, there you go. I think we've driven Jose pretty crazy over the last few weeks, but I can let him speak to that, I suppose. Good evening. You could just talk, yeah. You could just talk. So uh, I wanted to thank uh, the Gadsden Company, the Mercado District as a whole, uh, the MSA Annex, uh, and the Mercado San Agustin Plaza, and all the merchants who really uh, helped me put all this together and contributed to the prizes. Uh, in particular, I'd like to thank Westbound, Mast, Transit Cycles, and REI. So, Thank you to everyone who, who helped out make this uh, treasure hunt a, a, from what I hear, a spectacular success, and thank you. And there are also some merchants as well. Uh, do you want to mention the merchants that actually allowed us to go into their place, either to find the gold bar, or to find it in their window, or others? So with that also, there was a, so specifically there was like the Estrella Bakery, Decibel Coffee Works, Sonoran Delights, which is in the neighborhood, Transit Cycles, Kukai, Mast, La Chaiteria, also not here, but in the neighborhood, Butte Burger, Petroglyphs, and Westbound. Excellent. And so I'm gonna announce who, the, who won the treasure hunt, but I'm gonna tell you a couple things. First of all, anyone who participated in the treasure hunt um, is getting a free pass, it'll be emailed to you, a free pass to Superstition Mountain Museum, and a pass to ride the train at Goldfield Ghost Town. So if you participated in the treasure hunt, you just get that. Now, I'd like to I'd like to tell you who won. A couple funny things about this. Um, let me see here. First of all, there the difference between first, second, and third place was points. 
single digit points, literally. Uh, two points, one point, two points. Uh, it was incredible. And we, we went over all of it. it. It's automatically calculated. There was only a couple of submissions that were a couple challenges weren't quite right. And we literally had to get that close because we just had so many people so close to the number. Um, and so we're, we're really impressed by it. 90 of Tucsonians um, participated, which is really cool. Um, so the, the third prize, we'll start out with the third prize. It's $100 in cash from Senart Films. Um, Goldfield Boom to Bust book by Bob Schuess, who's here. Uh, Arizona Oddities, Land of Anomalies and Tamales by Marshall Trimble. A gift certificate to Transit Cycles. A gift certificate to Decibel Coffee. Two REI co-op gift bags. And Lustre Gold t-shirts. Now, that went to a team and there was a one point difference between third place and second place with a 1292 points uh betsy neal is she here no okay she was on a team with two other people and we will be emailing at the end of the night tonight we'll be emailing the winners and tomorrow we'll email everyone so they know who won all right so that's third place now Second place, thank you. Second place, two hundred dollars in cash, care of Senar Films. Another book, uh, Goldfield Boom to Bust by Bob Schuess. Uh Arizona Trilogy by Marshall Trimble, who's in the film. A uh, gift certificate to Mast. A gift certificate to Westbound. Four REI co-op gift bags, and Lust for Gold T-shirts. Now, the second place finisher, which was literally one point less than the first place, believe it or not, uh, is Tina Douglas. I don't know if Tina's here, and Tina had three other partners on her team. Tina remembers on her team. Tina's not here. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm handing these to, to uh, Jose because Jose will help us distribute all the merchandise and all the gift certificates. He's going to do that this week so that we won't, uh, we won't be doing that. We'll send you t-shirts and we'll send the t-shirts out and things like that. But Jose is going to help us. So lastly, first place. Okay. $500 in cash. Thanks to Petroglyphs. Jose put up that cash to make this work. And I have to say, that was very generous. Besides all the work he did, all the testing he did, I think that's really cool, frankly. And he's a really cool guy because we got to spend a lot of time with him. Um, a collectible silver prospector coin um, from Goldfield Ghost Town. Roadside History of Arizona, second edition by Marshall Trumbull. A Goldfield Boom to Bust book by Bob Schuess. Four REI co-op gift bags and a Lust for Gold t-shirt. Now here's the, here's the rub on first place. The first place winner had to be disqualified. <laughs> what can I say? Because the first place winner, while they played, were not eligible to win because they're part of the film team. And that is Wayne Trevor and Tyler Tuttle. Yeah! So, Get us proud. Now, what's interesting about this, and he's a real treasure hunter, so I guess he had the edge. We should have disqualified him just for that. But he was, but he was, their team was 17 points ahead of the next place, which actually then became the first place winner because we had to disqualify you. I'm very sorry. All right, so the first place winner is Desiree Her Her Herdera, who uh, had, I think I met some of these folks that were on this team. I'm not really sure. There were five of you. Is anybody here from that team? I really can't see. Desiree's team? Desiree's shout, team? Shout it out. No? Okay, you're not here then. Well, uh, too bad. Uh, I guess we'll have to give it to Wayne after all. I'm here. <laughs> give it all to me. All right. Well, that's it. So uh, we have some people from the film here uh, that we'll, we'll introduce you to at the end of the movie. And in the meantime, uh, enjoy the film. <laughs>